with the ladies, they're still they're still hitting down on the golf ball and compressing it, but they're pushing more up and letting this these angles out a little bit more. The trigger really helped them find the rhythm at the beginning of the swing and then help them get energy in the club. Yes, get it, the energy in the club moving, rotating. Julia, as you set up to that last ball, I noticed something about your lead arm, how you put it on. See that? Your yeah. left arm's on top of your chest, internally well, rotate a little bit. Okay, we're back out at Superstition Mountain with Julia. And today we're going to talk a little bit about making the women's golf swing athletic. Yes. Women have a lot of potential. They have a lot of potential and, and I think they really enjoy the game, so... Julia, what are some, some things that make women different from men, generally? Well, our breasts. Okay. We have... So you have chests that are a little different shape? Yes, So absolutely. what are some accommodations that need to be made there? Um, you have to make sure that your left arm is on top of your chest. Okay. And, I mean, if you, if you really are a big size, maybe both of your arms, okay. right? Just to make sure that you don't get stuck under in the backswing. Yeah, because then we don't want to have that obstacle course no. to play with. No. Okay. So and that's, that's probably the number one change. Yeah. Yes. What are some other things that we need to consider for women in general? Well, I know that every single woman I talk to is about speed. It's about, well, not speed, but hitting it longer. Hitting it longer. So what in my experience helping them really understand the trigger again it's okay. huge so the trigger that's an important thing for women huge what does that do for them uh, they women in general are very mobile yes. and they're very flexible and and they are very coordinated they're actually more rhythmic than men the trigger really helped them find the rhythm at the beginning of the swing and then help them Get energy in the club. Yes, get it, the energy in the club moving, rotating, and uh, using that flexibility and that mobility they have in their spine and in their muscles. Yes, because one of the main issues I see with women when I watch is they get set up and their first move almost always is some interesting thing with their hands. Totally. And a lot of it's because the club for a woman is a lot heavier. Yeah. So if they don't trigger, then they wind up having to do something to, and the club gets thrown out of its arc early. Sure. So if they can have a little bit of a trigger, then they can swing the club and get it into the proper Yeah, arc. so when, you, when they use the trigger, they actually stop using their muscle to pull the club back, but they use momentum. So then they're actually using their body instead of yes. just their muscles in their hands. For sure. Other things I think we need to really focus on with women is making sure their equipment fits. Their equipment needs to be slightly different from a typical men's. They need more loft. They need shafts that help them elevate the golf ball. Yes. Different clubs in the bag. Yeah, the three iron has no place for <laughs> most women, right? No, no. And they need to get fitted because lots of women are shorter. Mm -hmm. And when I see a very short woman with a, with a standard golf club, I'm like, it just makes their life more complicated. Yeah, it's tough. We, I've seen that with some of the tour pros I coach we had to make some pretty major alterations. Clubs that are significantly flatter, shorter, lots of hybrids in the bag. Yeah. Things like that to help elevate the golf ball, make the game easier. Some general differences from a golf swing. I actually want women to swing very similarly to men. I don't really want to change how they swing. What it will look like for them will be a little different sometimes. You know, we, we see the picture of high level men, their impact positions a lot of times look something like this. Well, what happens if a lady with 70 mile an hour club head speed goes there? Well, the ball fly will be too low. So it won't and be they're going to run it forever. They're never going to stop it. Yes. And they need, they need the ball to fly. So maybe not that much shaft lean. And so to create that much shaft lean, that's a lot of maintaining flexion, mm -hmm. staying more in posture. So a lot of times with women, we're actually going to see them using their legs to push up more and unload the shaft more, right? So impact will look more this way. Yeah, and women have strong legs. Yeah, I think women should really focus on their legs and the power of their legs instead of trying to lift in the club with their hands and the upper body. So that's great. I mean, you know, having them using their legs to, to yeah, move. And we see it on the tour, the women's tour, I see more girls almost exploding up and 
unloading more this way than what I see from the men's tour generally? I mean, Lexi Thompson is on her, on her toes. Laura Davis on her toes. She had, she has huge cuts. Like, <laughs> she's big, but she, she has, and she used them. She used yeah. them. So I, I insist with women to, you know, have really loose arms and use the trigger and really use their legs. Their legs, especially through the balls to, you know, to get the, the clubs going. When we talk about using your legs, we want to make sure that we're clear that it's not so much using our legs and tilting back this way. Mm -hmm. It's with the ladies; they're still they're still hitting down on the golf ball and compressing it, but they're pushing more up and letting this these angles out a little bit more, so that they're delivering more dynamic loft. They're not they're not delivering as much shaft lean. For sure. Women in general, as we said, relative to men, I think that their legs are actually stronger from most of the gears captures and things I've seen, women are better rotators. Yeah. They rotate faster. Club head speed's not quite as good generally just because the transmission's not as strong. So yeah. there's a little more slippage in there. For sure, but they have other strengths yeah. and they just need to know how to use them. And I think this video will really help them. One last thing I wanted to talk about is hand strength. I think for women, if they can do exercises that strengthen their hands and wrists, that way that they can manage more energy in the club. If your wrists are super soft and loose and not strong enough to, to maintain structure. For sure, because you still want this look, right? Yes, and as we're unwinding, we still want this look. Yeah. It's gonna unload a little sooner, but we don't wanna have like this no. floppy looking stuff that once in a while, that, you know, that kind of shows up. We see that a lot yeah. with club women. And I think it's very easy exercise. You just, you're in front of the TV, you're in the couch and you just take one of those, you know, one pound or whatever, whatever is comfortable for you. You just do this 20, 30 a day and it's going to make a difference, especially in the rough. If you play in the rough, for a woman it's really hard to get out of the rough. Yeah. But it, as soon as you start having a little, just a little stronger hands is... It's makes really a huge difference. Very, especially from the rough, yes. Awesome. Okay, okay so we're going to show the differences between two fairly elite level players. So Julia is going to hit one and then I'll hit one. And we'll see if it looks any different at impact. Good. I have a seven iron here. Julia, as you set up to that last ball, I noticed something about your lead arm, how you put it on. See that? Your yeah. left arm's on top of your chest, internally well, rotate a little bit. You know, if um, when, I saw, when I see a woman with a weak left hand and then this easily go this way, it's, it's dead. So I think a woman uh, really, like everybody else, needs really a nice strong hand and this arm internally rotated yeah. on top of the chest, perfect. That's my Hot. preference for everyone, yeah. not just a woman. Exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> awesome. You going to hit another one? No. Oh, Go my ahead. turn then. My <laughs> turn. I get to hit that one. I hit it a hair fat, but not bad. Maybe 25 yards more than me. Yeah. That's okay, though. I make the putt. <laughs> Okay, so Julia, let's put a little recap on this. Generally for women, the golf swing's not going to be that different. There's some small setup adjustments. What it will look like will be a little different just because of the strengths mm -hmm. of women. Anatomy. Anatomy. But we don't really need to coach it any differently. That's why I think your website is not men only. Your website is for everybody. Junior, senior, women. I really invite a lot of women ladies out there to join minor lines golf you can really benefit from it i did <laughs> awesome that's it